Hello Grade Fours! This week in art, I want you to use what you know about materials and their properties to design and create. You are going to have a go at creating a pop-up. Just like this, a single pop-up, or maybe a more complex pop-up, like this one inspired by Raha School. And you might use your favorite building in Abu Dhabi as your source of inspiration, or your own house, or a building of your imagination. So be a designer, have a think, and let's get creating. You'll need to gather some simple materials, some things to color with, draw with, and also some paper or card, as well as some glue or tape. Now, it's very easy to find inspiration when it comes to looking at buildings in Abu Dhabi. In your lifetime, Sadiat Island is being transformed from mangroves and sand dunes into the cultural district of Abu Dhabi. The first famous museum to be built on Sadiat Island is the Louvre Abu Dhabi, designed by the architect Jean Nouvel, who was inspired by traditional buildings and the natural environment. The Zayed National Museum, designed by architect Norman Foster, will soon rise out of the ground. And you'll see it was inspired by the wings of the national bird, the UAE Falcon. And another museum to appear soon is the Guggenheim Abu Dhabi, designed by the architect Frank Gehry. He also was inspired by the natural landscape of the UAE. I wonder what would give you ideas to design a building for the cultural district. Maybe you will be inspired by our famous buildings already in Abu Dhabi, like the Grand Mosque. So to get started on this activity, like I said, see if you can find some cardboard around your house. You can deconstruct a cereal box, as I'm showing you here, and fold it in half. If you don't have cardboard, paper will work as well though. Cut two slits in the paper in the center and fold it back on itself so it pops out like you're seeing here. Then you'll need some paper that is the right size to pop up off the page and you'll use this paper to draw the design of a building on. To get it the right size, cut it smaller and then size it to fit inside your pop-up page. As you're doing this, Think about what building you want to pop up. Again, maybe it's Kasser al Hossein or the Grand Mosque or the Pearl or Raha School. I decided to focus on the Grand Mosque. When you think about or look at a picture of a building, break it up into the basic shapes. Look for rectangles, squares, triangles, circles, ovals, and use those to draw the design. Keep it as simple as possible. Add some color and then cut the shape out. Like always, do a bit of a rough cut first and then do the more fine cutting as you go around the different shapes of your building. Remember, the building that you draw and color for this can be based on a real place or it can be a completely imaginary design, a building of your choice. Once you have it cut out, check and make sure that it is the right size for your pop-up. Then before you attach it, you'll need to color in some details in the background. Look at some pictures of the building or pictures of landscapes to give you an idea. You could create a sunrise or a sunset background if you wish, or something more detailed. Again, be resourceful with the materials you have and keep it simple. Crayons are a perfect material for filling in this background space. Now it's time to put it all together. You might use glue, a glue stick, a stapler, double-sided tape, single-sided tape, anything to attach your building so that it pops up on your background. I can't wait to see what inspires you and how creative you get with your pop-up architecture.